All right, we're back with the new toy. Uh, let's see, so this is it again, the diagnostic box. This is the one I showed you guys the other day. Uh, today, though, we're going to be in the smart car. So you got a 2014 smart car 4.2, and we have the customer's original key here, but the remote on it is starting to fail. And then we have the replacement key. So we're going to give this thing a whirl and see whether or not we can program okay. Uh, first thing I want to do is, since I do have a working key, turn that key on on. And we're gonna go straight into diagnostics. North America, as they're washing the car while I'm doing this, by the way. I don't know what possessed them to do that, but that's okay. And we're gonna go right over to our smart. Let's see if I can get this to where it doesn't give you guys the glare. No, not so much, but let's get right over to smart car and hit okay. And we have a 4-2, key coding. And it's going to be a 2014. It's located in the SAM. And the first thing we want to do is we want to see how many keys we have. Thanks again, Matt Walsh, for reminding me to tell everybody that. All right, so there are only two keys programmed to this car. We're good to go. We have six slots on this one, I believe. And we'll hit OK on that. Let's go back out. One step. Let's turn that key off. And we're going to switch over to the new key. Pop our new key in. And we'll continue on from where we were. Initializing, please wait. Alright, and we're going to go straight into here for program key. Ensure all keys are present before proceeding. Any key not present will be erased, okay? So in this case here, we're going to go over to two keys, because we have two keys here with us. Switch the ignition on. Done. Hit OK. Remove the key from the ignition. OK. Insert key and switch ignition on. I'm assuming it means the new one. So I do that. Hit OK. Switch ignition off. Key is off. Oop, didn't tell me to remove the key though. So ignition is off. Remove key from ignition. Key's out. Hit OK. And is there a key and switch ignition on? Andrew, it hasn't said to switch keys yet, so key programming complete. Cycle all keys in the ignition to synchronize the remote. Okay, so we have one key there. Second key here. Let's make sure. All right, nothing on that one yet. All right, that one's working. As you can see by the flashing light back there. Let's make sure it starts the car. That's our new key. Fires right up. Let's go back to the old key. Because it never asked me to put the old key in. So let's see. I, hopefully I didn't mess that up there. And if I did... Ah, see, it didn't actually do the second key. So, at some point during that process there, it should have said switch keys, but it didn't do that. So, that'll be something I'll make mention of to them, but that's alright, we can fix that. So, we're going to come over here, we're going to go to two keys again. Hit OK. Switch the ignition on. And it is. Remove key from ignition. OK. And then we're going to... Turn the key on. Okay. Switch key off. Okay. Remove key from ignition. And I think this is where... Insert next key. See that? See what happens when you don't read, folks? Turn the key on. Key programming completed. Cycle all the keys. Okay. So now let's check. 
nothing on this for but this is the one with the old one here with the bad remote so key off for a second and let's turn the key on on that one fires it up and back over to our original key key in ignition and fires it up there we go two keys programmed so nothing wrong with this just a bonehead who didn't actually read the instructions guilty as charged however we were able to walk right out of that nice quick and easy and uh there you go so i'm really liking this tool so far we actually just did and i didn't make a video on it but we also just had a 2003 nissan maxima i figured let me give it a shot and see whether or not it can handle some of the old stuff as well and it most certainly did check engine light on david <laughs> I'm going to show you guys I'm going to give you guys the real reason though why the check engine light's on on this okay and and you're going to love this here because you know there's European cars and then there's a special type of a European car there's the Mercedes smart car I just think you guys would enjoy that alright so uh, yeah that's the end of that video and I guess again that diagnostic box working it's magic so you guys are asking me to review it here's the review and uh, so far, I'm very happy. You guys take care and have a good one.